Were you aware of Sandy Monroe's true motivation for selling his Tesla stock? News about Tesla is usually major news. It makes headlines on well-known TV shows and, more significantly, on websites and social media platforms. As a result, many people are keeping a close eye on everything and everyone associated with the top electric car manufacturer, including its shareholders. You'll learn the true reason behind Sandy Monroe's sale of all his Tesla stock in today's video. Tesla is an American clean energy and automobile firm that develops, designs, builds, rents, and sells electric cars. Many analysts consider it to be the top EV company. Tesla announced on April 20, 2022, that its first quarter net profitability of $3.3 billion had surpassed Wall Street projections. The company's revenue had increased by 81% year-over-year to $18.8 billion. This and other items that made headlines could be the reason why individuals are interested in investing in Tesla. Sandy Monroe is one of the many bulls for Tesla. But unlike others, he sold his Tesla investments. This move led to a great deal of conjecture. Sandy Monroe is a frequent lecturer and advisor on change implementation and creative growth tactics to some of the world's leading leaders. Despite having started his career in the automobile and aircraft industries, he has worked closely with suppliers to several multinational organizations. Sandy has a special advantage in the field of technology transfer because of his broad experience and understanding across almost all areas of the manufacturing business. Starting out as a toolmaker in Windsor, Ontario, Sandy advanced through the ranks of Valiant Machine Tool Firm, a globally renowned specialty tool firm, to become a designer and ultimately the engineer manager. After a while, he worked for Ford Motor Company, where he met Dr. E. Deming, an American engineer, statistician, professor, author, lecturer, and management consultant. He moved from designing machine tools and automation to manufacturing engineering. When Dr. Deming persuaded Sandy to leave Ford and launch his own business, Monroe and Associates Incorporated, in 1988, his entire career was transformed. Since then, Monroe and Associates Incorporated has assisted producers of a wide range of goods, including toys, appliances, cars, electronics, and medical equipment, in saving an estimated $50 billion and keeping or relocating hundreds of thousands of jobs to North America. It makes sense that every move he makes creates a stir, given his level of cast skill. In this instance, the selling of his whole interest in the top electric car manufacturer. When they heard this news, people had become restless. Yes, but why did the veteran in auto manufacture sell his Tesla shares? Has he stopped believing in the promise of the EV company, or was there another reason? But he clarified this and discussed his thoughts on Tesla's future in an interview. In recent interviews, the automotive production specialist discussed Tesla's future and provided an explanation for his actions. What made him sell his Tesla stock, then? Does he still think highly of Tesla? Some speculate that investing in one company at the expense of others does not seem right, given that Monroe and Associates work on cars from multiple manufacturers. To maintain the impression of independence, Sandy Monroe sold all of his Tesla stock and made no other auto investments. In the aforementioned interview, he clarified that, in order to demonstrate his objectivity as a product appraiser and corporate observer, he felt it was imperative to have no equity in the business. Even though this makes sense, other people are unconvinced and assert that, similar to Musk, Monroe only made the news to grab media attention. Given that they both like controversy in order to garner attention for their respective businesses, some claim that Musk and Monroe are two sides of the same coin. Nevertheless, given his lengthy experience with the EV company's contentious CEO, Monroe's remarks regarding his continued confidence in the company's stocks make sense. Do you also think Sandy Monroe is now an objective observer as a result of this action? Please share your thoughts with us by posting a comment below. In other news, Monroe claimed that when it comes to making changes to production cars on the fly, Tesla is at least 10 years ahead of the competition. The engineer claims that Tesla manufactures a product that is presumably 90 to 95% there and uses a tactic that basically involves waiting until customers complain before making quick changes. 
It should be recalled that Monroe blasted the idiocy and prejudiced handling of Tesla FSD just a year ago. In his opinion, Tesla is the industry leader and finest in autonomous driving and driver assistance. He said that Congress and the NHTSA were being incredibly foolish to investigate Tesla for its self-driving technology. If the U.S. slows down Tesla's innovation, it will be like shooting itself in the foot. Monroe claimed that EVs have considerably fewer fires than cars with internal combustion engines. Cars with driver assistance and self-driving capabilities are becoming safer. The best strategy to drastically cut the 1.3 million car-related deaths annually is to do this. Despite his decision to sell his shares, the engineer continues to provide updates about Tesla on his different media platforms, demonstrating his faith in the firm. Indeed, Sandy Monroe recently declared on Monroe Live that the Made in Texas MIT Tesla Model Y with Tesla's 4680-type cylindrical battery cells will soon be disassembled and analyzed. One MIT Tesla Model Y in Florida was previously identified as having been purchased by Monroe and Associates, suggesting that it is likely one of the vehicles that Tesla is selling from its current stock. The aforementioned video claims that the process will begin immediately with the installation of the new battery pack, which is the largest modification made to the vehicle. With any lucky, the investigation will provide additional information about Tesla's most recent battery, which is anticipated to have a useful capacity of over 67 kilowatt hours in the case of the MIT Tesla Model Y. It's interesting to note that a portion of the packs around 800 cells will be for sale. Although pre-orders are currently being accepted, the cost of each device is extremely high at $800. As of right now, Tesla manufactures the 4680-type batteries internally in the United States, but as far as we know, other vendors are getting ready to ramp up manufacturing. Panasonic has started building production lines and shipping samples of the new cells. Samsung SDI is rumored to be building a pilot plant, while LG Energy Solutions confirmed the opening of a manufacturing line. The WED was disrupted by news of the Japanese Panasonic facility opening in the following year, as well as Tesla's bullish factor battery technology becoming known throughout the states. Panasonic, a longtime partner of Tesla, is anticipated to make additional equipment investments and to manufacture the 4680 battery. The estimated value of the investment is 80 billion yen, or roughly $704 million. Some rumors state that it might increase the size of the current Japan factory to manufacture the aforementioned batteries. Of course, there are other areas of interest besides the new battery structural pack and new cells, such as mega casting in the front and rear and possibly other breakthroughs that haven't been found yet. Nevertheless, Sandy Monroe is confident that many ardent Tesla fans will witness the removal of the battery pack and the seats, which in the most recent Model Y are affixed to the top of the pack, from the vehicle. A presentation about Idra's gigapresses at its Italian factory will be fascinating in relation to mega casting. It is anticipated that the one for the Tesla Cybertruck will be able to support 9,000 tons. It's in. It is a well-known truth that Tesla launched and carried out the building of the Tesla Gigafactory in spite of the challenges the global community encountered in achieving its goal of accelerating the global switch to sustainable energy through the production of increasingly affordable electric automobiles and energy goods. The building of the Tesla Jag in Nevada was completed. The lithium-ion battery and electric car component factory known as Tesla Jag in Nevada, or Tesla Gigafactory, is located in Story County, Nevada. It is anticipated to be the world's largest building and run entirely on renewable energy to attain net zero energy. The goal of this structure is to address Tesla's battery issue. With a projected area of more than 1.9 million square feet, this Gigafactory intends to increase manufacturing to 500,000 additional cars per year. All things considered, even investors and experts with decades of combined expertise have different opinions about Tesla and its stock. Some people overlook the company's many setbacks and concentrate on its promise, but others view such obstacles as a major barrier to the business's success. Nobody can dispute, however, that the stock market is as unpredictable as they come. Everything is still based on educated assumptions, forecasts, and conjecture.
Check out our other videos on our channel for more information about Tesla stocks. Tell me if you require any additional help.